Hello and welcome back on Frontiers in Artificial Intelligence. Paolo is your host. So tonight I interviewed my aunt Kirk Waddle, a very bright scientist from the Information Science Institute at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. So this institute is a very interesting one in the United States. And the reason is it, it is not a very traditional academic organization. They don't do teaching, but they do a lot of applied research for governmental institutions. Particularly, they serve the defense organization with the DARPA programs and the intelligence organization, so the CIA type of things, for the uh, ARPA type of programs. So we covered with my hand a number of topics in a very, very interesting interview that you can watch on our channel. However, I want to give you an overview. So three very important points. First point is the institute technology has been applied by law enforcement departments across the United States. And here is the situation before the technology was applied. So basically, the police and the law enforcement agents couldn't have the time to basically go and investigate cases of human trafficking. And the reason is they could only go and arrest sex workers, but could not find information on how the sex workers were forced into this or were connected to organizations. With this technology that has been developed in this very interesting institute. Instead, the law enforcement teams across the country could investigate first and then prosecute. And eventually they also got convictions in the field of human trafficking. So that's a very interesting thing. It's very unusual that research done in academia goes all the way through applications and it has such, such an impact. So very interesting, in my opinion. The second area that was very interesting, and here we go into a little bit more technical, is that my hand works on a field of information retrieval. Just to be clear, information retrieval is nothing more, just a high level than when you type some questions in Google or you type you know, a word in Google and, and you retrieve some information. That's in a nutshell what the information retrieval is. So my aunt work in, works in information retrieval and he and his team have developed algorithms that are very particular. And why they're very particular? Because basically they use very low quantity of data to be trained and they can work in a variety of domains. So this is these contracts with what we typically do in the industry where we really need lots of data to train models. And, and this is, as I said many times in other videos, is an ubiquitous problem of machine learning today because you need to prepare this data, you need people that label them and so on and so forth. So this technology, graph technology that they have developed, instead can work on systems that on which the algorithm was not trained before. And the amount of training requests is very low. So this is a pretty interesting thing. We go into a lot of more details in the interview. Please take a look if uh, this is something of interest for you. And then finally, we looked into the future, uh, really something interesting, something that I had to be honest, you usually find it only when you talk to academics and people that are really working on cutting edge R&D. And so what is going on in the future and particularly how scientists are going to give machines common sense. I talked about a program for DARPA and, and basically what that is, is today a lot of these machine learning slash artificial intelligence systems, they can only work on specific tasks. So, but how can you mimic the real ability of human beings? So that's where my hack explained um, the, that today, the, even the deep learning systems are not that evoluted as the press want people to believe. And there are still lots of limits. So for example, human beings, even if they have lots of more neurons than deep learning, can accomplish tasks with using a few neurons and much less energies than deep learning. And my hack started to talk about how is this the future in this area and what would be the research that will generate machines that are more intelligent. So with that said, I thank you so much for your time. This is going to be a very, very interesting interview. We're going to publish it in some days from now. Subscribe at our channel and uh, looking forward to guest you on Frontiers on Artificial Intelligence. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye bye.